Dillo tonight, and this is the T Spotlight series. We got a little bit of a mixed bag, a little bit of everything in this one. Uh, regarding a few teas, we're gonna start off with uh, Fahrenheit, my Brachypalma Bomai, the Mexican fire leg. Uh, he's been growing and molting very frequently. Pretty sure this one's a male. I got a good look at the uh, abdomen after the molt. No true presence of a flap. Obviously, this guy, you can just tell by looking at him for a bracky, he is very slender, very long legged. And here's a good look at the abdomen there. Um, pretty sure this one's a male. Um, the angle is a little deceiving. It almost looks like he could be female, but uh, just with all the elements put together, the growth rate, look at his body structure. Most likely, this is a male. That moat was very confusing to look at um, but when you lay it out completely flat it there was really no presence of a flap at all so most likely this guy's a male I'd be shocked if he's a female but I've been fooled before so I'll hold judgment here's uh, my beautiful haplopalma albostriatum pegasus this is a Thailand zebra mature male um, I found him uh, in a death curl inside of his enclosure. He was really, really dehydrated. He's been refusing to eat anything. I threw him in ICU. I figured he was dead. Uh, he wasn't dead. He actually was still had some life in him. I put him in ICU just to give him, to try to make his passing as much as I could comfortable for him. And uh, he uh, actually, you know, I mean, it, he, I thought he was going to die in this enclosure, in this ICU. But he actually shocked me and he made an extremely quick rebound and uh, got rehydrated and was back to full strength, full speed, just like he was uh, a year ago uh, before he matured out. And this is him 24 hours later after being put into the ICU. And as you can see, all the legs are back fully extended, abdomen um, plump again. and he was ready to rock and roll he got out of the enclosure got back in his enclosure and uh, actually surprised me in the way he took down this cricket you see the power and the strength in him um, for a little guy he actually is I mean he hasn't he's always had a good appetite I never power fed him because I don't really with any of my tarantulas I hide all the time like my OBT um, that you know, bro, I, I really just try to put the minimum amount of uh, food in there for them because I don't want um, anything running around inside of their tunnels trying to mess with them in case they're molting or anything. So I, I never power feed my uh, pet holes. Um, so he ate, and then 24 hours later, he passed away. Uh, you can see the abdomen is still plump from his meal. Um, it was very hydrated in his enclosure. He did die of old age. He was a very, very small, mature male. Uh, one of the smallest mature males I have ever seen. He really struck, I mean, to get to three inches was really pushing it for him. He was teeny tiny, but he had a lot of personality, and that really broke my heart when he died. Uh, even when he matured out, it broke my heart. He was one of my favorite tarantulas. He was one of my first ones. He was my first old world tarantula. And my buddy guitar guy, 1031, um, was with me when I got this tarantula. Um, got him in a pet store and uh, he's been a great tea I learned a lot from this tea about pet holes about uh, old world speed all that uh, is due to this guy he gave me the the confidence to own a pokey to own an OBT um, to own a Sama Poes. this guy started it off for me he was my first old world and it really really tore me up and uh, broke my heart this is my buddy my uh, my little guy I'm really really gonna miss him and can't wait to get another Thai zebra. Hopefully, this time be a female. But um, let's get back to something that's a little more positive. This is our mi mixed bag of um, tea updates. We're going to start off with Prometheus, my Pocleotheriornata, the French drone in the middle. This guy is definitely a male. Um, haven't been able to confirm anything. It's very difficult, obviously, to uh, sex a molt from a pokey because of the way that they molt out uh, of their uh, exoskeleton. It's very difficult to see in there. But he is huge. He's bigger than my P. Metallica right now. He's probably, he's around six inches long right now. Huge guy, and he's not even mature yet. Here's Argo, Nandu Carapinensis, the Brazilian Red. I thought I'd show this guy because people have been asking me about do I have any other Nandus. And uh, yeah, I do have a Carapinensis. This used to be a pet hole. He's out all the time now. 
He's starting to get big. Not showing adult colors yet, but I wanted to show this guy because he he has a extremely great attacks, but he's so fast and so reclusive that I can never get it on film enough for you to show you. It's just a blur. Even when I slow it down, it looks like it doesn't look like anything. And here's mystery. My cyclostern fasciatum, the Costa Rican tiger rump. This is my suspect male. My other uh, Costa Rican tiger rump, uh, most likely is a female. This one was out eating. And I thought I'd show him real fast because he's been hiding lately. And then next up, we have Freedom. My grandma stole the rosea. Uh, this is uh, Chilean Rose. My suspect male, I'm, I'm pretty sure this one is a male. And uh, I wanted to show this one because this is the one that my, um, this is actually my wife's tarantula she, that she rescued from the pet store. The one I said was the uh, worst conditions I've ever seen. I have the tarantula editorial on this tarantula and this is the update she or he has really um, slimmed down they were power feeding the hell out of him and he's uh... hasn't eaten one time in my care after they've power fed him in the store so um, it's been around i want to say five six months since i got him or her and hasn't eaten one time not one time has showed interest in eating but uh... it's still healthy still um, very much uh, a g rosea but I do believe this one is a male and I'll see when it molts. It should be molting very soon. It's starting to get the um, characteristic um, look and feel of a of a, a trench that's going to molt. But when I say soon, I'm saying probably six to eight months from now. Maybe longer. But Freedom has been doing great. And here's another one of my sweet babies that did molt. And this is Whisper, Grandma Sola Rosé of the Chilean Rose. This one, um, the look of her is quite unique because she almost looks like a portery, a brown color form after she molted out uh, out of her uh, exoskeleton. She, the carapace is still very much a, um, it's got the pink in it and you know the pink is purpose look but it's very very dark. Her legs are very dark. She almost looks like a portery but but she is clearly uh, just your normal uh, chilling rose. She has a very dark carapace. You can see it right here the highlights kind of pop out of the dark carapace there. It's not actually all pink or all purple or somewhere around there. It just kind of pops out. And you can see here, 100% uh, female. And uh, this is the sweetest tarantula in my collection as far as uh, being able to be handled and as far as being able to be, uh, you know, she's kind of a show off tarantula for me because anybody that comes over, I can get her out and she'll sit in my hand and you know kinda like Freedom was just doing but uh, this one's even sweeter she's she loves to be handled and I haven't been able to handle her for the last few months because she's been in pre mold and she's been kinda irritated here's another guy Ocean Storm Chromatum Pama Siena Pubescence the green bottle blue GBB you gotta excuse my uh, cockatiel in the background chirping his ass off um, this one uh, finally rolled over and flipped hasn't been eaten um, this is a suspect male And he webbed up his enclosure pretty thickly and um, rolled over. He got out of this mold, no problem, in a uh, short period of time. As you can see, he finally has clearly all of his adult colors, and that's uh, what I've been waiting for. I can't. Uh, he'll be getting transferred out of here into something a little bigger now after he hardens up and gets his first meal. But uh, and I'll show you that first meal, the next tarantula cloud, which should be out in the next couple weeks. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching. Take care. Have a good one. I'm um, having a little bit of bad luck here with some of my uh, teas and my animals, but hopefully I'll turn around and I'll talk about that more in the future with uh, some of my reptile updates as well.